Taurus. Welcome back to Unicorn Funland. I'm Michaela Andromeda. For those of you that don't know, if this is your first time here with me, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to do your monthly general reading for November of 2018. Thank you, everybody, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. You guys are so beautiful. Thank you for being here with me. Any information you need about my channel is right down below in the description for booking my website, my social media, which is really just Instagram, um, my uh, my email address. If you just want to holler at me, go find me campaign. All that information is down below in the description. You can read that at your own discretion. But welcome to the big four. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that, but seriously, like I, you guys, you guys are in my big four, my top four. Um, of my favorite readings that I like to do, so I save you guys for last. Okay, so Taurus, I already put your rojo on the cards. I don't even know what I'm doing. Twelve cards. Twelve cards, spirit. Twelve cards. There's one. Twelve cards, spirit. For Taurus, November 2018. I said this one. November 2018. Oh, these cards are burning. <laughs> They're burning like they're burning like they they want to come out and they're on the bottom and the top. But that shuffle pretty good for you guys. Taurus, two cards. Okay, that one first, and then this one. Oh no, what's falling? <gasps> Apophyllite. Needing to get deeper in touch with the metaphysical. You, Taurus, is that what you're needing to do? Get deeper in touch with the metaphysical? Taurus, November 2018, spirit. Oh, let's see that card. Whoa, there's my last two. Last two right there. Oh. Wearing a mask, eh? Well, it's time to drop that mask. It's time to drop that armor. You don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need to hide from the world anymore. Hasn't this been like a recurring theme for you? Like, the world wants to see you. The world wants to see who you truly are. And this guy, this is the overall energy. This guy is hi like he's hiding behind his, uh, his armor. But he doesn't need it. He clearly doesn't need it because it's rusty. But he's just holding on to it. And he's not showing his truth. But if he lets go of it, this is the car that was right beneath it. If he lets go of it, then that'll be a mature move and he'll get to start something new. Oh, and then some healing will occur. <laughs> oh, that's just the way the tarot works sometimes. Sometimes the extra cards come out that way. Let's get it. November 2018 spirit. You get to start off with harmony. You get to start off with everything cool and clear. Clear mind, clear heart, clear spirit, clear body. Okay? Everything in harmony. It's feeling like there's some kind of challenge to your harmony though for some of you. This is a general reading. Some of you may some of you guys may be challenged in your harmony. And for some of you that challenge is going to be this. Yeah, transformation. So things are going to start off, excuse me, things are going to start off this month actually, you know, pretty peachy keen. Like the first, the first couple of days. And then there's going to be something that occurs, some kind of um, transformation that, it's like it takes you to the top and over the edge is what I'm saying. I'm seeing you like getting to a mountain, getting to the top of a mountain, the peak of a mountain. And then, like, just falling over the edge. Oh, and I have to mention to you, when I was shuffling before I turned the, compu the computer, before I turned the camera on, the full card came out with the guidance card. So guidance is always that collaborating with spirit. So take a risk and collaborate with spirit. But um, that's, that's, that was just brought to my mind after this vision, this, you know, you climbing to the top of this mountain and then falling over the other side, like jumping over the cliff. Because you're ready for this transformation. Some of you are ready for the transformation. Those of you who are not ready for the transformation, um, this may be a little bit brutal. And you may be pushed over the cliff. Okay? There may be some kind of dark night of the soul. Um, but 
it's okay because this it's transformative. Point blank period. The dark night is transformative. Whatever, whatever um, cliffs you're jumping off of, hopefully not literal cliffs. I want everybody alive, but whatever cliffs you're jumping off of, they're transformative and they're necessary. Okay. So this transformation is going to is going to bring the realization about how 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 your differences and similarities with other people bring balance in your life. Wow, man. Your difference and your similarity, your differences and similarities between you and other people bring balance to your life. Usually this is I'm comparing myself to somebody else because I want to be them or because I am in fear of becoming them. But with this, it's not fear anymore. It's more of an understanding. So this transformation is going to bring you to a place of understanding. General reading, guys. If it resonates, it resonates. It's going to bring you to a place <laughs> of understanding about other people and about, man, about your differences and similarities. I'd love to get more deeper into that. I'd love to like do a clarifier card on that specific card. I'm not being drawn to. So this is the second week of the month. And there will be cause for celebration for some of you. But then there's going to be others of you who are called to celebrate, but you don't feel like you deserve to celebrate. Or you don't feel like you've worked hard enough to celebrate or you are just being lazy and don't want to celebrate you would just rather stay in bed even though celebrating is not that hard and you can leave whenever you want <laughs> like, like it's just it's just excuses because you just want to be alone which is okay it's okay to be alone but spirit is like calling you out to celebrate and some of you might get two or three offers two or three different offers on the same night to go and have some fun but there's lots to celebrate because some of you i'm seeing like um you're building these new work relationships the people that you're um working with like your bosses and your co-workers it's feeling like there's some kind of communal energy that's coming in with you taurus uh in your workplace and this is this is all about that communal energy communal emotional energy which is beautiful especially in a workplace um it's great when you can work with people who you actually vibe with like who who get it <laughs> who get you and it's not stressful and it's not like oh but i don't want to go to work because bob is an ass like you know you're working with people who care and you're working with people who love to celebrate and who love the stuff that you love so whatever your situation is Second week of this month, do some celebrating. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself. You deserve it. You and you're worthy of celebration. Like don't don't put yourself under the bus for all that. Um, but after this celebration, or even in the midst of this celebration, for some of you, you're gonna realize that there's a decision that you have to make. This this is not a decision that you're already making. This is new because you're gonna find your you're gonna like I'm just seeing you standing in a room where everybody is celebrating and then like a conundrum coming up in your mind like how will this work with this how can I make this work with this how can how can I bring these two ideas together or do I have to choose one of them? Like that's that's the thought process that I'm seeing. The general thought process, of course, because there's a general reading. But that's the general thought process that I'm seeing. Um, after after this celebrate, I'm telling you, like it's feeling like in the midst of you celebrating and having a good time, there's a risk of a dark night. But it doesn't have to be a dark night, especially if you sit and think about it and really consider how you can pull these two parts of yourself together. Okay. Oh. And so this is, oh. Divine order, two, one. So in the midst of trying to figure this out, there's gonna be some kind of new consciousness that comes about. 
but some of you are not going to understand it some of you aren't going to understand it some of you aren't even going to feel it or even want to be a part of it but it's something necessary this is necessary new consciousness because this is going to show you how to take the next step it's going to show you how to i don't know change your mind some of you are needing to change your mind and change your thoughts some of you are being challenged by your own thoughts you like your own thoughts not any outside noise or anything but some of you are being challenged by your own thoughts and by by um it's feeling like you're wanting to innovate you're wanting to change the way you think but the how you've been conditioned is you're just kind of holding on to that that's ego driven a lot of that that holding on to your conditioning is ego driven so recognize that for what it is and just try to rise above that try to rise above your ego try to rise above physicality because the this is the universe and the universe at times can be very physical but this is a physical depiction of the universe because it's the stars it's the light so rise above the stars and the light go into the nothingness mm. Go into the nothingness and learn something new. Advice for the past two weeks. Go with the flow. Go with the flow of your emotions. Okay. There's nothing you will accomplish by fighting. There's You won't accomplish anything by fighting, Taurus. Okay. By fighting your emotions and by fighting your truth. You won't accomplish anything by doing that. Not this month, at least. Okay? I'm going to finish up this reading in the extended version. You can get access to that by clicking that link right down below. It's right down there. Right down there. It's right at the top. Click the link, get access to the extended version, and I will see you guys over there. Bye!